Peter Zhang, welcome. Uh, for people who don't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Peter. I am currently working at 9 to 5 uh, as a software developer, and I'm also building my personal brand on Twitter, or X, on the side, when I have, I guess it's just every day. I just work on it a bit every day. And I focus on this thing I call the Guild Method, and it's basically just kind of based around sustainability, authenticity, and uh, of course, my favorite systems. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Cool. And so your account is about like a year old. Uh, yeah. What made you come to uh, Twitter? Because that's when I think Elon uh, took over a little bit before that. Yeah, but... yeah. So I know a lot of people say that they came here because of Dan Co and everything like that. I did not come uh -huh. here because of Dan Co. <laughs> it's okay, actually okay. a really weird story. At the time, I was starting like this advertising agency, and I was still in high school, but then. I stumbled across this YouTube video from, I think it was like Andrew Tate or something. And I know he's like very controversial and stuff, but I was like, okay, I think I want to learn a bit about copywriting because I needed to do that for the agency I was trying to run. So I joined his program, The Real World. And in that, in, in one of the courses he was, or in the university campus for copywriting, the guy was saying, you can practice doing copywriting on Twitter. So I was like, okay, that's an interesting approach to that. So I created mm -hmm. an account and then mm -hmm. I never used the, I never used Twitter for <laughs> the first month that I had it. And then afterwards, I think, <clears throat> I think I randomly decided, okay, I'm going to check this out on Twitter. I randomly decided I'm going to check out Twitter. So then I met a bunch of people there and I guess that's kind of how I got started on writing it on Twitter. Uh, yeah. How, how did you get to meet those people? Were those friends of yours who already had an account or how did that go? Surprisingly, they were all rent like strangers. Ah, okay. <laughs> so cool. it's it's kind of like um, I got on and I started like look how everyone does. They just start playing around. They start commenting on other people. They start following big accounts that they know. And then I think it was the second month when I started like noticing big accounts like Kieran Drew and Danko, of course. I didn't really know him back then. I just thought he was like this this guy trying to be black and white and very cool. I was like, okay, it looks <laughs> cool. I guess I'll follow him. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. And so at first you just started commenting. Was it already in your mind like I have to start writing as well on my own timeline or just commenting? How did that go? Yeah, at first I was like, I don't know what I'm doing on Twitter. Hmm. So I was just like, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to be here to make friends and, you know, get to talk yeah. to people. Yeah. So yeah. for the... I think in the first month, I, I started posting like once a day because I was like, may as well, you know, like practice my copywriting skills yeah, and that kind of stuff. Um, and then I think some people started doing like this challenge of posting every day. And I was like, oh, that sounds pretty fun. And then I started my own challenge. Somehow I, I got through 30 days of posting. That was yeah, very yeah. weird. But, uh, a thousand followers in 30 days. That. Um, that, no. was, that, was, that was last month, right? That was last month you did that. And this hit, one you just mentioned right. was before. Oh, then no, this month I'm doing a challenge to hit by growing, growing another 1k. I don't know, yeah. we'll see how it goes, I guess. Like, it's mainly <laughs> just so that I start getting more consistent again. And so it's, it's an interesting approach, yeah? So some people go to Twitter because somewhere they read that, hey, you can build an audience and get yeah. rich. But I think I like the approach better that, you know, I'm just going to go to Twitter, meet, meet, meet interesting people and just connect with yeah. a couple of cool, cool bros. No, that's, I think definitely for beginners, that's probably a better vibe than just I'm, I'm going to make yeah, it sure. I'm gonna grow my audience because it's really <laughs> hard. Yeah. It's not really like a discoverability algorithm here. Like on TikTok, if you mm. post something cool, then it can blow up. But here you need followers yeah. for it to really take off. So, okay, interesting. So I guess your voyage your journey went a bit differently yeah? so you just start following cool people started to building like a relationship with them and, and when, when was like the the moment where you thought hey i really have to double down on my content creation on my copywriting that's kind of weird actually so i stopped for a month in september of 2023 because i was like this isn't going anywhere i don't know what i'm doing right i was just there to make friends and i was like i don't know i don't know should i really continue and then university started. It's like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a month here to focus on school. And then I read Dotcom Secrets by Russell Brunson, <laughs> and 
one of the friends I made during the two months I was active, I was like, yo, I read this book, let's let's do something. And then he was like, yeah, that sounds good. So somehow we decided we were gonna start building like this, it was like a funnel, I think. We were building, um, we were gonna interview a bunch of big creators on Twitter and then like share it with people. And we did, we did do that, but like I got started because of that again. So in October, I started posting every day because me and my friend were like, yeah, so we need to probably grow our audience so that these interviewer people would think we're legit <laughs> and and their audience <laughs> nice. thinks we're legit. So <laughs> I started doing, I started posting every day again. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I got into like the, I'm, I'm locking in so quote unquote mm. locking mm. in. Cool. Okay. And so you started, you started uh, creating content again, but like, how did you decide what to write on? What did you have some, some kind of system or just, you know, I don't think I really had a system at first. That was, I think in more of December and like January, but at first I think it was well, the easiest way to kind of get content ideas is just scroll around and go like, Oh yeah, I like this post or, Oh, look, this post got X amount of likes and et cetera. So I'm going to copy paste everything and just do it. Well, copy paste, you know, you change some stuff as well. But yeah, that's kind of what happened, <laughs> I think, in the first few months. And I did manage to grow. Like, I think that's a good way to learn how to, like, write posts that work and actually get people to engage with you. So, yeah, I did that for a bit. Um, but then later on, I started using Notion. I was like, okay, this is not working. I, like, this, the ideas generation is too spontaneous and too dependent on Twitter. And I, and I found myself getting like really distracted by like, oh, look, my comments or the notifications suddenly increased by X amount. <laughs> it was like, yo, I got to click on that. So um, what I did was I went on Notion and I started like building on my own content system. And it, it was pretty simple. It's mainly just like a section for generating ideas and maybe like a swipe file or something. And then like, OK, here's where I can, here's where I'm going to write my posts. And How do you generate uh, ideas? Um. Usually it's, okay, so right now, the system I'm following is um, kind of like, I call it pod, it's like three categories. The first one's for a profession, second one's for obsession, and the last one's for decompression. And it works for me because I post three times a day, so I just post one of each category. But basically, it's kind of like three categories, I've swiped files for each, so I kind of look through and go like, okay, what, what do I think I can talk about? today and then most of my ideas are actually pre-planned already so i don't really need to generate too many new ones but i like to yeah so it's, it's not just templated entire week but um i generate ideas just by looking around site files or i might go on twitter and unscroll a bit i feel like i've gotten better at controlling myself so i'm started doing that again but yeah other than that it's just random things that pop up in my life i'm like yeah see i like frozen mangoes i'm gonna talk about that on on twitter so <laughs> yeah cool cool all right and so um you started getting a bit of followers how did you how did you decide on what to write about was it strictly you know based on that system you're using now or was it also like hey i'm seeing a lot more engagement on these topics i'm gonna talk more about that Tell us yeah about that. i feel like the algorithms changed a bit so obviously before i would be posting things That's like true. oh yeah I gained this amount of followers because it was working for everyone else. I was like, okay, I'm yeah. just going to do that as well. And it did yeah. work. And then um, there was like this phase where I would draw stickmen and then post about that on Twitter. Like I would draw things as like an illustration and include that in my posts. So that was kind of what happened there. I think I got the question. <laughs> Could you repeat that first? Like, well, uh, like, uh, how did you find what to write about? Uh, some people oh. just, you know, I want to write about this because that interests me. Other people uh, yeah. say, well, I, I, I tried a bunch of things and just I got the most engagement on that. So just I continued on those topics. How did you go about that? Okay. I, I started off with the, I write about this, it performs well. So I'm going to continue writing about this. I think that's what most people did as well because it's like the easiest way to, it's not as risky. Um, but recently I, I think it was a month ago when I found the pod thing. So that was pretty recent. And I was like, okay, this is a, I actually like this approach because it breaks it down pretty easily and it perfectly fit into my three times a day kind of system. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to use this. 
and then I found that it does work actually because it helps a lot with um well number one profession kind of helps with uh, building authority and like okay I know what I'm talking about and then you've got obsession and decompression decompression is basically just lifestyle at that point but um those two help with um this thing called world building or just builds your audience because you're it, 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 like personal stuff relatable you know people come yep. smiley face yeah and so, so you're you're a software engineer by by train by trade huh? so if we uh take that as an example for your pod system and so profession you would yeah. talk about that but what kind of examples of what would you then talk about on twitter um okay so the profession i guess i'll kind of define it because i feel like it was just out in the open so it's not exactly your job per se so let's say i'm working I'm, I'm a software engineer but um my profession i usually i talk about more like systems based things on twitter because it's more of like your your offer on x i guess um and so i talk about like writing writing frameworks storytelling that kind of stuff and also like building content systems i don't know frameworks for random things that kind of stuff um but obviously the software part can you know pop up a few times so i have this community i built on telegram and it's for people from twitter and i'm building like this telegram bot for that so I sometimes talk about the bot on there. So, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Yeah, you, you see, like, some uh, software engineers just they're in tech Twitter. They just talk about you know, oh yeah, to their, their projects and stuff like that. But you, you, you've mostly, you know, separated from that. You're just talking mostly yeah. about writing and not about your like your career. Okay, cool, cool. And so, um, like, imagine you start again today on Twitter, zero followers, zero people you know, mm. what would be the first step or, or like the first couple of things you would do in, in the next 30 days? Okay. So one of the first things I'd probably do is set the, set like the mind. There's like this thing you really need to like change in your mind in terms of like, oh, I want these results right now. Or I'm going to get them in like two months or something. It's, it's not, it's most likely not going to happen. So there are a few things I would first do. Or, few things I would do the first one would probably be like okay let's set like a reasonable time frame 30 days is not realistic to get to a thousand followers unless you know what you're doing and that caused a lot of my friends like a ton of stress like the new friends I made on Twitter and some of them are still stressing about that so it's not really a good thing but number one is like okay reconfigure like your mindset kind of like okay this is gonna take time and you understand that Number two, I've set like a very simple like system that I can do every day, like maybe 30 comments a day. I can write two posts a day. I can DM like two or three people a day. Stick to that for, for like 30 days or something. Like just, just see what happens, I guess, in a way. Like commit to a simple series of things you can do. And then afterwards figure out like, okay, what can I do here? What, what stuff can I change here? Because it's really all just about, um, like the algorithm's changing all the time, people's interests are changing all the time. It's all really about, like what they say, like A-B testing things. <laughs> kind yeah, of. Yeah. Kind Always of A-B be testing. testing. I, I like that approach. It's like more commit to the journey. Like, okay, do this for 30 times a day, do that for two times a day, instead of yeah. reach a thousand followers in 30 days, a goal, because most likely you won't make it. You, you know, if you're new to Twitter, you probably, you know, just need to first understand a little yeah. bit how how things go yeah. like there's no need to set unrealistic expectations that may or may not be met and then go like and start beating yourself up after if you don't make it yep. so yeah cool man it was a lot of fun this uh, talk for people who don't know you uh, peter where can where can they find you well on twitter i'm at peter zhang no spaces remove the second e as well <laughs> Don't know why I chose that username, but it was really nice for some reason. So I found cool. it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for and your time, that's man. It. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. You're welcome.